You didn't think we were done talking about rogues, were you? We still have another popular rogue spec to talk about. In this video, we'll be teaching you how to play a subtlety rogue in just 5 minutes or less. This video is going to be perfect for those of you who are looking to pick up the class for the first time, or maybe you're just a returning player looking for a quick refresher on how to play. However, keep in mind that these videos serve as a basic tool for playing sub. We don't go super deep or cover advanced topics with the spec here. So consider this video a starting off point in your journey into playing subtlety, and be sure to check out the written class guides over on wowhead or ic-veins.com for a more in-depth look at the spec. And before we begin, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content like this in the future. So with that being said, let's get started. Step priorities can drastically change even if you were to equip a single piece of gear. So instead of giving you a generic stat weight to follow, I'm going to just tell you to sim yourself. Simming your character is the best way possible to figure out if a piece of gear is actually an upgrade for you or not. If you guys don't know how to sim yourself, I've actually made a video on how to do that, so you guys can click it here in the top right. The too long didn't read is you guys should always, always, always be simming yourself. So let's talk about talents. This is the build that I'd be using for single target. We're picking up things like cheat death because it's the best defensive for rogues in the game and it should always be picked up no matter what your build is. We're also going to be grabbing Thristle as well as Dance Macabre and Dark Brew to turn our nature and bleed damage into shadow damage. And then for AoE, this is the build that we'd be using. Keep in mind that it is kind of similar to the single target build, but we're actually not picking up shadow dance or talents that buff that ability, and instead we're going to the right side and picking up Shuriken Tornado. Alright, so now let's take a look at the rotation for sub, and we'll begin with single target. So you always want to cast Shadow Blades on cooldown, Maintain Slice and Dice and Rupture, and always be sure to refresh them before they expire. Cast Symbols of Death on cooldown. Cast Shadow Dance on cooldown. Cast Thristle D if you have three charges, and always try to use them with Shadow Dance. Cast Secret Technique with Cold Blood. Cast Eviscerate to spend combo points. Cast Vanish, and then also cast Shadow Strike immediately afterwards. Cast Shadow Strike to generate combo points if Shadow Dance is active, otherwise use Backstab and or Gloomblade, and always try to be behind the target to gain extra 20% damage. And now let's look at the AoE rotation. You want to maintain Slice and Dice, but stop casting it on 6 targets or more. Maintain Rupture on the target that lives for at least 12 seconds. Cast Symbols of Death on cooldown. Cast Shuriken Tornado and Thristle T in combination with Shadow Dance. Cast Secret Technique with Cold Blood. Cast Black Powder as your combo spender if there's more than 6 targets. And always make sure to use Eviscerate instead if there's up to 3 targets. Use Shuriken Storm during Shadow Dance instead of Shadow Strike. Or if there's more than 3 targets, cast Shuriken Storm to generate combo points. Here is a list of all the consumables, gems, and enchants that you guys should be using as Subtlety Rogues. Remember that the higher quality ones are always going to be more expensive, so keep in mind that you guys can always use the cheaper, lower ranked ones for gear that you're planning to replace pretty quickly. But I would say if you get anything over like a 400 item level, always spend the extra money to get those higher level enchants. And that's going to do it for our quick rundown of subtlety rogues in Dragonflight. We hope you guys found this information useful and that it's inspired you to try picking it up and playing it because Outlaw is actually pretty fun. Remember that this is just a starting off point, so be sure to check out Wowhead or Icy Veins for a more in-depth look at the spec. And you guys have probably noticed by now that I've actually hit 2,000 subscribers, so I just want to personally thank each and every one of you guys for subscribing to my channel and for coming back and watching my content because this has been a really fun ride so far and I can't wait to you know keep going and see how high I can get this channel. I know my first couple of videos were really bad and I've learned a lot of stuff along the way so there's always room to improve and I'm always interested in hearing your guys' feedbacks for these videos so I can make these better for everybody. And like always, for those of you who are still on the fence, maybe subscribe to the channel if you guys are liking these videos. And with that being said, I will see you guys later.